You have the same arguments all the time. You have the same annoyance from bills, from life situations. What we're gonna be looking at today is figuring out how we can see the patterns in our life that find us there facing these annoyances time and time again, and what we can do to put ourselves in a better position the next time if we aren't there now. Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and this is Rick Roberts Like the Podcast, where we talk about my faith, my thoughts, my life. And today is Motivation Monday, and here we go again. It looks like we're about to go into the second round of quarantine. Um, some of my people in the States are in quarantine, my people in England are in quarantine, and I'm not sure, but it looks like we might be heading that direction too. Lord forbid, but we've been kind of on heavy restrictions for quite some time. And what I want to ask you is, are you ready? The reason why I ask you this is because when we first went into lockdown, when we first were in heavy quarantine, we knew, we knew that this virus wasn't going anywhere. And we all had a suspicion come this time that we would be back in lockdown again. We knew that flu season would be coming in. We knew that people would be getting sick because of the common cold. We knew that there'd be lots of other things as well happening that are the same symptoms as COVID. And so what have we done to get ourselves ready for this lockdown? What have we done to get ourselves ready for this position again? If you find that you have gone through this time and you didn't prepare, you just have to go through and write it out. You know, this is a life lesson for us to realize that In life, the things that we have to deal with, there are certain patterns that we have to face again and again. They're just not so closely together that we have to put in place certain things to protect ourselves, certain things to make sure that we are in a better position the next time since we've learned a lesson from the last time. And so for those of you guys who had prepared your homes, who prepared yourselves for the next round of quarantine, congratulations, great job. For those who didn't, it's okay. You will find a way to get through by the grace of God. What I'm inviting each and every one of you to do is to reflect on yourself, reflect on where you find yourself right now and see What can you do to make the best of the situation? What can you do to come out of this next situation stronger than you found yourself coming into the situation? And as you think about that, as you get a mentality for improving yourself and a mentality for improving your life, you will take that into the other areas of your life. You know, there are times when we find ourselves having weekly arguments with our partners, having monthly issues with our children, with our friends, with our family. And the question is, what are we doing? What procedures, what systems are we putting in place to prevent this from happening again? Some things you can do to put yourself in a better position next time is find out where the gap is. You see where you are and you see where you want to be and you look in between and you see what that gap is. What is missing from you actually reaching here? And as you make a list of what's missing, you'll be able to take the steps to help secure those things for the next time. And you'll get into a mindset of putting in place certain protective measures to make sure that you do not return to difficult times in the different areas of your life. Now, some of you find that you have regular arguments, regular issues with people who are closest to you. I want you to look at the patterns that happen. What is the buildup? What are the different flags that are letting you know you're getting closer and closer to the tipping point of this conversation? And as you realize how you got here, you can then help prevent getting there again in the next month, in the next week. For some of you guys, it might come again tomorrow. Figure out how did you get here and figure out how you can make sure that you can redirect yourself away from this path. You can break the cycle. You can do something different. You have to take the time and reflect on what is actually happening right now that put you back in that same spot that you hate being in time and time again. The other thing you have to do as well is you have to make this truly inconvenient. You have to see that this is a bigger inconvenience. Sometimes we're not going to move until we are absolutely inconvenienced enough to just move past it. And so where you are now 
it, it needs to really get to you. It needs to really bother you. And that's why reflection is so important. If you don't really reflect on it and you kind of just shrug it off, you're not letting it get inside and build this type of annoyance to make you want to stand up and to sort it out properly once and for all. Now, there is a, uh, a teaching out there saying that, you know, the goal is one good thing to strive for, but it is your behavior and the patterns that you do on a regular basis that either help you achieve the goal or miss the goal. And I want you to start changing your behavior little bit by little bit, step by step, so that way you can make sure that you're no longer in this position of problem. You know, a very short example of this, um, a very practical thing that I've been doing lately, I hate, absolutely hate doing the dishes. You know, I, I can I get an amen? I hate doing the dishes. Uh, I'm so uh, sick of doing dishes. And so what I was so tempted to do is I was tempted to go out and buy a dishwasher so I would never have to just sit there with my hands in the sink cleaning them doggone dishes again. But what I've come to realize is that if I just simply wash my dish after I use it right away, the food's not so bad on it, I can get it clean quickly, and I can go about my day. Keep the sink looking clean, because with a dishwasher, you have to rinse it off anyways, you have to stack it inside the tray, push the button, it does its thing, you take it out the tray, you stack it up where it's supposed to be, and I figured, no, 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 forget that, forget that. What I'm gonna do, as soon as I get done my plate, take it in, bang, bang it out, do my thing, put it up where it's supposed to be, done and dusted. Sink looks good, I feel good, I feel like I'm knocking it out like that. And it's the same thing, you know, when you first get up, you make your bed, you make it look nice and smooth and flat, you make it look sharp. You know, just do these little habits. When you, when you focus on being great at the little things, all these things add up into something bigger. And it's the same thing when you try to make all your moves the best move, when you find that something keeps getting in your way, you're going to have a mentality to want to fix it. You're going to put inside the little steps to fix it. But if it doesn't bother you that much, if you don't let it hit you, then it's not going to make you want to do anything about it. Look at the benefits of getting to where you want to be. Sometimes we have to see the reward. You know, you're working so hard, you're slaving away, you're trying to build a new habit, you're sacrificing, and you need to have hope. You need to see the vision of what you're trying to get to so that way you can call it from your imagination into reality. Because if you don't see it, then it's going to be hard to know when you've actually reached there and you're going to have that little voice of negativity saying, Oh, what's the point? I'm, I can't be bothered to do this today. I can't be bothered to do this right now. And then you get demotivated and you're gonna stop doing those habits, those positive habits to help change your life. I wanna repeat to you again. If you find yourself back into a similar position that you were in before, you know, it, it happens. Sometimes we have the best intentions to do something, but time gets away from us. And that's why we have to be a little bit hard on ourselves and say, you know what, intention is good, but it's not everything. You need to also have the action to back up that intention. And that's one thing I've been learning you know, in my adult life. I have the greatest of intentions, but sometimes my action isn't always there to back up my intention, and it makes me feel inconsistent. And when I feel inconsistent, I start to have low self-esteem. And I start to feel bad about myself. And so what I want you to do is to have the best intention and then force yourself to have actions to back up that intention. You need to be willing to put the work in little bit by little bit. Each day you working on this, you will find that you will change and you will get to a better place. Believe in yourself. You are capable. You have the ability to do this. If you find that this is so overwhelming, and you know, it's you know, it's natural to get to that point as well where you feel like you've been working so hard, you've been doing so many things, and where you are and where you want to be is such a big gap where you feel like you're overwhelmed. What I invite you to do is to take some time and just pray. 
You know, ask God for strength, ask God for wisdom, ask God for power to give you the ability to to get through and the and the uh, wisdom and the ability to get to where you need to be and plan where you need to be so you don't find yourself here again. Because like I said, there's certain patterns that does repeat itself every day, every week, every month, every year, and you have to identify those patterns so that way you can prevent being in a negative place when it comes back around again. The same way how we are here for the quarantine, for the lockdown, we knew it was coming, we suspected it was coming, and some of us were diligent to get it done, and some of us, we fell asleep and we tried to do other things, and now we find ourselves where we are. You can make the change. Now is not too late. Put the work in, reflect, make the change. If you find that's too overwhelming, ask God for help and he will give you all the tools you need to get to where you need to be. I'm Rick Roberts and you stay classy. Bye.